My name is Murthy Kantimahanti. I'm a conservation biologist with the Eastern Ghats Wildlife Society. I'm brought up at a small village in the Eastern Ghats, surrounded by these amazing hill ranges. So, and I've been watching people killing snakes unnecessarily, like just on sight. And uh, although I've rescued snakes, I realized that there's actually the problem is bigger than just rescuing snakes. People are killing snakes because the main factor is lack of knowledge. And so the awareness is low, uh, absolutely nothing and lack of trained personnel who can safely rescue snakes. So these two major factors are contributing for a raise in human snake conflict across this region of Eastern Ghats. So that's the point I thought, yeah, let's do something about it. Let's train people, let's, let's educate them and try to mitigate this conflict and save some snakes. Human snake conflict in India is one of the more severe human wildlife conflicts which is largely underestimated because it's a rural problem and uh, many of the victims are from villages with poor access to medical care and they have nothing like they know nothing about snakes it's majorly ignorance um, so I thought that it's it's something very challenging uh, to take on and then how to mitigate this human snake conflict and create a harmonious relationship instead of you know uh, humans killing snakes and snakes biting people and you have a conflict on both sides. So Eastern Ghats is a least explored, one of the least explored landscapes here in India and so uh, we have a vision to conserve the lesser known species like snakes in the Eastern Ghats and we do that through threat reduction programs, mitigating human snake conflicts and then building local capacity you know which is most important you know uh, and then to strengthen, uh, strengthen their knowledge, skills and competencies to conserve snakes instead of killing them. So I learned about king cobras in the Eastern Ghats through one of my senior mentors. His name is uh, late Rajkumar uh, who passed away unfortunately but then he taught me about the existence of king cobras, where they live and then I, I've always been fascinated you know it's like a pleasant surprise of oh my god king cobras in the eastern Ghats. then i came across some local press clippings where i had seen these killings indiscriminate killings of king cobras by locals uh, which is like shocking to me it's like how can they kill such a huge snake it's um, well and then i visited these places interviewed them then i came to know that fear and ignorance are the only main reasons for killing them it's not that the king cobra beat anyone or it's a serious uh, man-animal conflict going on. It's just because of the fear. And then, I don't know, like since then, I've been working to address those fears and demystify uh, the superstitions about snakes and how king cobras actually help in the ecology and, you know, like they, they actually, they are required in nature. And uh, so we have been doing a lot of community outreach programs, uh, also rescued a couple of king cobras. That's like one success story I could say as a result of our programs because otherwise those king cobras would have been killed in the past. But people are now calling for help instead of killing or at least waiting until we reach there and watching the snake which is like a huge success for us here in the Eastern Ghats. So for the past few years we have been working in these hot spots where we identified uh, the king cobra killings and these villages around them and uh, we are doing a lot of uh, uh, education and awareness programs and, and we are also training the local forest department staff, local amateur snake handlers in professional training of, uh, uh, in professional training of yeah, snake rescues. Forest uh, department in collaboration with the Eastern Guard Wildlife Society is uh, arranging training programs for the frontline staff. So basically uh, the objective of those programs is uh, to provide technical know-how that uh, we are up to very very clear that only four or five major species are there which are poisonous. So most of the snakes they are non-poisonous. So most of the training programs uh, has been uh, conducted in zoo park and uh, frontline staff they have been exposed uh, to the snakes that how snake look like, what are the basically features of the poisonous snakes, how uh, basically uh, non-poisonous snakes they look like. So the hands-on training has been given. And uh, the, uh, there also the main issue was collaboration. So a lot of numbers have been shared so that uh, in every part uh, there are some people who can rescue the, there are some people who can rescue the snakes. 
those numbers also has been shared with the staff so that in kind of emergency those people may be contacted and uh, once uh, they response their response is there so that uh, immediately that uh, snake can be rescued and uh, it can be released uh, to the uh, uh, nearby forest area